Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers and parents and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello students, we are teachers Che Kribo T.K. Solomon and Mr. Aaron T. Bala of Rising Academies. This is the Rising Youth Movement Partnership for the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Lesson number 24. Our lesson today is language arts reading for students of grade 3 to 4. And the topic is the salty ocean. For today's lesson, we will be able to define ocean salt, discuss how salty the ocean is, and explain the source of ocean salt. While we listen to these COVID-19 help tips, please take out your pencil, pen, copy books, and get ready for today's lesson. Again, welcome. Let's learn. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problems, kidney failure, or death. If you have a fever, or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Hello to our excellent students. We are the teachers who will talk to you on the radio. We wish we could see you in person, but we know that you will listen carefully and do your best. Now it is time for our lesson. Today, we have another reading session together. I'm feeling great because I know we will do lots of fun activities. How are you feeling today? Wow. Remember, in our last class, we practiced the sentence, Mary organism live in salty ocean water. We practice blending sounds like A and R to read and write words like chip, chirp, dig, dirt. Bid and bird. Lastly, we read and discussed the passage. The ocean is like a layer cake. I also want to remind your families about your assignment. Hello, families. Please ask your child about the diagram they drew of the ocean with the sunlit zone as the top layer, the toilet zone as the middle layer, and the dark zone as the bottom layer. We are proud of them. I'm sure they did an extraordinary job. Here are our five fun activities for today. We will do an activity called Sentence Warm Up. We will do another activity called Sad Words. We will do an activity called Sound Workout. We will do an activity called Write and Read. And lastly, we will do our last activity called Read Aloud. Let's have a great class together. We will now join Teacher Kubo for our first activity called Sentence Warm-Up. Thank you, Teacher Aaron. It is time for our Sentence Warm-Up. Today, our practice sentence is, Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. You will listen Why I say the sentence two times. Then, I will tell you when it is time for us to read the sentence together. Ready? Listen first. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. Okay, when I say your turn, then we can all say it together. Ready? Your turn. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. One more time. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. Great. When I hear the sentence, 
Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. I think about light from the sun going into the water. Where the water is shadow, the light can enter. But as the water gets deeper and deeper, the sunlight cannot make it. That means the deepest part of the ocean are very dark because there is no light there. The daytime and the nighttime looks the same. I want you to think about how you will do a drama for the sentence. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. Will you be creature living in darkness at the bottom of the ocean? Or will you be the sunlight trying to shine through the water? Or will you be the deep water blocking the sunlight from coming in? I will give you five seconds to think about how you will do a drama to show the sentence. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. Good job. I hope you have your drama idea ready. Now, I will say the sentence and you will do your drama. Ready? Your turn. Sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. Wow. The students here with me did a wonderful drama. I wish I could see your beautiful drama at home too. I am sure you did a great job. Now I have some questions for you. When I ask the question, if the answer is yes, stand up. If the answer is no, sit down. First question, does sunlight come from a latrine? Next question, does sunlight come from the scar? Next question, does sunlight come from the moon? The last question, does sunlight come from a cell phone? Wonderful job answering those questions. Now, let's say the word sunlight. I wonder if you can tell me how many syllables in the word sunlight. You will listen Why I clap the syllables in the word. Then, I will tell you when it is your turn to try. Sunlight. Sunlight. Your turn. Sunlight. Again. Sunlight. Great. How many syllables in sunlight? Yes, there are two syllables. Sunlight is one word with two syllables. The root words are sun and light. Is sunlight a noun, a verb, or an adjective? Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. Sunlight is a noun. Sunlight is a special type of light. It describes light that comes from the sun. You are listening to the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. This is your lower basic primary language arts reading level 2 for grade 3 to 4. And we are your teachers. Now it is time for our sight words. This is a new part of our lesson where we will review sight words. Sight words are words that we use a lot, so we want to be able to read them quickly when we see them. In your notebook, I want you to have a special place where you write your sight words. Every day you will put your sight words in the same place. It will be at the front of your notebook or it will be at the back of your book. But you need four pages only for sight words. On sight words page 1, you will write the number 27 and 28 with a space next to each number for a word. I want you to go ahead and write 27 and 28. Thank you. Now you will write the side word I tell you next to the numbers. Number 27. Write the word 1. This word has three letters and it is spelled O-N-E. Number 28. Write the word had. This word has three letters and it is spelled H-A-D. Let's also review numbers from before. 
Last time, we had two other sight words. They were, number 25 is the word from. This word has four letters and it is spelled F-R-O-M. Number 26 is the word or. This word has two letters and it is spelled O-R. Fantastic! Now, we will play a sight words game. I will say a word and you will point to the word in your notebook. And we will say how to spell it. It could be sight words that you wrote before. Ready? Half. Point to the word half in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. Half. One. Point to the word one in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. One. Hard. Point to the word hard in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. Hard. From. Point to the word from in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. From. Great job with our sight words today. Remember, save those four pages in your notebook for your collections of sight words. We will add more sight words in our next session. Thank you. We now join teacher Aaron for our next activity called Sound Workout. Great job, teacher Kribo. Thank you for our sight words. Today, in Sound Workout, we will practice two keywords. Keywords mean it is the important word for today. Today we are going to learn about how the letter R plays a special role when we are reading our vowels. In English, we have letters that are called vowels and we have letters that are called consonants. Now, is the letter G a vowel? No. The letter G is a consonant, not a vowel. Wow. So, what are some of the consonants that you remember? Other examples of those consonants are B, T, M, N, P, H. There are many consonants. Great job. Now, is the letter E a vowel? Oh, yes. The letter E is a vowel. So, what are some vowels that you know? The vowels are... A, E, R, O, U. Great job. The letter E makes the sound E. Like in the word gem. When the letter E is followed by the letter R, those two letters together make a different sound. The letter E and R together make the sound R. Like in the word gem. Listen again. Jim has the E in the middle. Can you draw the letter E in the air with your finger? Great job. Jim has the air sound in the middle. Listen. Air, 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 Jim. Air, 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 Jim. Ready? Your turn. Air. E, E, Jam. Again. E, 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 Jam. Great job. Our next key word is Jam. Jam has the letters E and R in the middle. Can you draw the letter E and R in the air with your finger? Great job. Jam has the R sound in the middle. Listen. R. Er, er, chem. Er, 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 chem. Ready? Your turn. Er, 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 chem. Again. Er, 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 chem. Great job. Those are our two key words for today. Chem and germ. Listen. Chem. Jam, 
jam. Listen, jam, jam, jam. Ready? Your turn. Jam, jam, jam. Jam, jam, jam. Great job. Now I will say a new word together with our keywords. I will say it two times. The first time, I just want you to listen. The second time, when you hear the two words with the same sound in the middle, I want you to stand up. You have to listen closely. It can be very hard to hear the sound in the middle of words. Just listen. Fed, jam, fed, jam. Stand up when you hear the same sound. Fed, jam, fed, jam. Great job. The correct answer is fed, jam. They both have the e eh sound in the middle. Our next word. Firm, jam, fern, jern. Stand up when you hear the same sound. Fern, jam, fern, jam. Great job. The correct answer is fern, jam. They both have the er sound in the middle. Our third word is net, jam. Net, jam. Stand up when you hear the same sound. Net, jam. Net, jam. Great job. The correct answer is net, jam. They both have the e eh sound in the middle. Our fourth word is hen, jam. Hen, jam. Stand up when you hear the same sound. Hen, jam. Hen, jam. Great job. The correct answer is hen, jam. They both have the e eh sound in the middle. Great job, everyone. That is the end of our sound workout. We now move to our next activity called Write and Read. I'm going to spare a word for you to write. Then, we will read the words together. Number one. Write the word spelled H-E-M. Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own. Great job. Listen while I sound out the word. A him. A him. The word him has the vowel e, so it makes the sound a. Your turn. A him. Again. A him. Great job. The word him means. The sweet edge of a piece of clothing. For example, you can say, The hem of my shirt needs to be fixed. Number two, I want you to write the word spelled H E R. Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own. Great job. And listen what I sound out the word. <sighs> er, her. <sighs> er. Her. The word her has the E and R together in the middle. E and R makes the sound er. Your turn. <sighs> er, er, her. her. Again. <sighs> er, er, her. her. The word her is the possessive pronoun of she. For example, you can say, I love my mother and her cooking. Number three, I want you to write the word spelled T-E-S-T. -E 
Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own. Great job. Listen what I sound out this word. T, e, st, test. T, e, st, test. The word test has the vowel E. So it makes the sound E. Your turn. T, e, st, test. Again. T, e, st, test. The word test means a set of questions to see what someone knows. For example, you can say, Teacher, do we have a test tomorrow? Great. Our fourth word. Write the word spelled T-E-R-M. Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own. Great. Listen what I sound out the word. Er, mm, term. T, er, mm, term. The word term has the vowel E and R together in the middle. E and R makes the sound er. Your turn. T, er, mm, term. Again. T, er, mm, term. The word terms means one part of the school year. For example, you can say, I will practice math every term. Fantastic! By remembering that vowels make the different sounds when they add together with the letter R, you are able to read so many new and interesting words. We now join teacher Kubo for our next activity called Read Aloud. Thank you, teacher Ero. Our last activity today is Read Aloud. I'm going to read you a non-fiction passage about marine biology. Non-fiction means that the passage is about things that are real. This passage is adapted from the website Wonderopolis. This passage is called Salty Ocean. Hearing that title makes me ask questions like, How salty is the ocean? Why is the ocean salty? Where does the salt come from? Salty oceans. Oceans are areas of salty water that fill in numerous basins on the Earth's surface. Ocean water is salty because it contains large amount of dissolved minerals. These minerals are often called salts. Depending on which part of the world you are splashing around in, about 3.5% of the ocean water is made out of salt. Water near the equator is usually saltier, while nothing waters are usually fresher, meaning they contain fewer salt. The ocean's floor contains huge amount of mineral that are eroded and stirred up by the ocean's natural motion. As the movement of the water in waves erupts, the ocean floor, minerals are dissolved into the water and the amount of salt increases. This is how the ocean constantly replenishes its saltiness. Wow, what an interesting reading. Based on what we learned, maybe we can answer some of the questions we had at the beginning. How salty is the ocean? Hmm. In the passage... I remember reading the sentences, depending on which part of the world you are, splashing around in. About 3.5% of the ocean water is made up of salt. Water near the equator is usually saltier. Why? Nothing waters are usually fresher, meaning they contain fewer salts. I learned that the ocean is salty everywhere, but some parts of the ocean have more salt than others. On average, ocean water is 3.5% salt. That means in one liter of ocean water, there is 35 grams of dissolved salt. Wow. So, 
Why is the ocean salty? Hmm. Let me think again. In the passage, I remember reading the sentence, ocean water is salty because it contains large amounts of dissolved minerals. These minerals are often called salts. From these sentences, I know that ocean water has minerals dissolved in it. Dissolve is when you take something and mix it into liquid. And it becomes part of the liquid. Like when you mix sugar into tea. The sugar dissolves. The ocean is salty because minerals like salt are dissolved in it. Wow. Another question. Where does the salt come from? Hmm. Wow. I know this one. In the passage, I remember reading the sentences, the ocean's flows contain huge amount of minerals that are eroded and stirred up by the ocean's natural motion. As the movement of the water and the waves erodes the ocean floor, the minerals are dissolved into the water and the amount of salt increases. So, this is what I understand. The bottom of the ocean has rocks with minerals like salt. When the waves move against the rocks, they cause erosion and chip away small pieces of the rocks. Then, the minerals from those rocks, they dissolve into the ocean water. That makes it salty. Wow. Now I have an assignment for you, students. I want you to take some salt and mix it into a glass of water. See what happens to the salt. Again, I want you to take some salt and mix into a glass of water. See what happens to the salt. Okay, students, let's recap what we learned today. We practiced the sentence, sunlight does not reach to the deepest part of the ocean. We practiced blending sounds like, E, N, R, to read and write the words like hem, her, test, term, jam, and germ. Lastly, we read and discussed the passage, the salty ocean. Boys and girls, that is the end of our class today. We are so happy you were here with us. You were extraordinary we hope to talk to you again soon great now students i want you to please take your pen and notebook and write down the following radio stations you can also listen to more of these lessons are you ready number one truth fm 96.1 Number two, ELBC, 99.9. Number three, ELUM, 98.7. Hot FM, 107.9. Cool FM, 91.9. Echoes Radio, 91.5. Kings FM, 88.5. Freedom FM, 87.9. OK FM 99.5 and City FM 90.2. You can also follow us on community radio stations across the country. Also, on the Ministry of Education Facebook page are 
Ministry of Education dash Liberia or on the Ministry of Education website www.moe-liberia.org Students, if you have any questions about today's lesson, I want you to kindly send them by SMS through this number 0555-670833 Again, if you have any questions about today's lesson, kindly send them by SMS to this number 0555670833. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of our class today. We are so happy you were here with us. You were excellent. We hope to talk to you again soon. This has been a Rising in Youth Movement Partnership lesson, part of the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Goodbye from me, J. Kuba D.K. Solomon. And goodbye from me, Mr. Aaron T. Bala. Happy